Hey guys, welcome to The Vault. Um, Leon here. Um, I'm here to bring you our next episode of a very popular playlist we got, a little um, um, pro tips series. Um, we did uh, how to uh, curve a brim, how to clean a hat, how to shrink a hat, how to um, stretch a hat. Um, this is one of the um, <clears throat> more uh, requested style videos, um, how to mock up a hat. So um, I have a little bit um, of insight I can share um, with you guys on that. Um, we did do a whole series on how to create a hat. Um, we did that with uh, Casey from Clink Room. It was called Clink Vision. Um, we kind of took you through the process of um, naming the hat and um, finding an artist and how to draw, how to color and do all that good stuff. That was a really cool um, video series. So if you get a chance, check that out. Um, but we did get a lot of requests on how to um, kind of mock up a uh, licensed product. Everyone wants to make um, custom MLB product and, and I, I kind of, um, I'm gonna take a stab at it. So hopefully you guys do enjoy. Um, I do have a little bit of experience on how to create uh, MLB um, hats. I'm not gonna share that with you today, um, but basically we these two just landed. Um, they're very simple because they're you know, they're already done in the team color. So basically we did a, a New York Met hat with the New York Mets side patch, kind of hooked to the Prince Akeem look from uh, Coming to America. And then we did a an ex Montreal Expos jersey script with um, the Montreal side patch at the back, you know, green under. So those were kind of easy. There, there wasn't much color flipping to do. I mean, we kept everything within um, the team's regular colors. But today I'm going to show you guys how to do um, – some hooks and, and, and kind of find the right colors to use and kind of uh, work through that process. So the first things first, you're going to need a template, right? So you're going to want something to work off of. So um, we did, let's do this. Hopefully this works for you guys. You can see a uh, quick Google search, baseball hat template. Um, first things first, this one looks kind of usable. Um, I don't like the six panel front hat here, but you got the, the, the top view, the front, the back. The only thing that's missing is the side. So you might need to piece it together with, I mean, you take this one. So the front here, side, top, uh, the back's not gonna work, but kind of when you, you just kind of have to piece together. So this is a good side, side hit you can use. Um, you're gonna need um, some type of photo editing. Um, piece of software. So I use Photoshop. Other people like to use Illustrator. Um, usually, uh, I prefer, uh, the use, the ease of use for Photoshop. I, you know, kind of been using that for a while. Um, this isn't bad, this one right here. So once you got your template, then you're kind of ready to rock and roll. I'm going to use one that New Era gave me. Um, but if you don't have that contact, you're going to have to find one yourself. So I would recommend just kind of piecing them together. So, you know, start off with something like this. Maybe don't use this one and then just use this piece of side, all right? Second thing you need to know is uh, which logos and which side patches uh, we're gonna use. So I use a site called sportslogos.net. Um, I'll take you to the homepage. Um, I believe this guy, Chris, Chris Creamer, I think he's from Toronto actually. So shout out to Chris. Um, he has this like crazy logo database. Um, most of the side patches, um that are uh in logos and uniform history is um in this site the only thing is is uh all-star games and world series patches they're not considered team owned so uh you're not going to find specific um world series or all-star game patches you're just gonna find them on google so for example uh chicago cubs they had the 1990 uh, all-star game um it won't be under the Chicago Cubs section because that's not an official Chicago Cubs logo. It's for the whole MLB to use. But anyway, um, I'm talking about Chicago Cubs, so let, let's let's use them as an example. So under baseball, we're gonna go under uh, National League, find the Cubs, and you can see the, the their logo history is all here. Uh, dark logo history. That's kind of cool alternate logo history. So you can see the years um, that each logo was um, kind of used. And then their cap logo history, you can see how long they use each one on a cap for. 
um, the colorways of each one, the jersey fronts. So um, this is kind of cool information to use. You can see which which hats they use. But down here, see anniversaries. So the different Wrigley, uh, Wrigley Field, um, anniversaries, batting practice, stadium logo history. So, oh, and there's the All-Star Game patch. That's just a pocket schedule. That's interesting. Um, so first things first, let's figure out what hat we want to use. So front logo, I'm thinking we use this one. This one's hella popular. So we click into it. Nice big logo. I'm going to save it. You want to use something that's um, PNG. So Cubs front. All right, so we got that downloaded. Let's go and download the side patch because side patch is pretty important nowadays, right? So this is a good one to use. Um, but I'm going to use this one. I like using this one. So this is a stadium. Um, so this one's pretty cool because it, it most likely will get approved because 1968 to present. So um, usually New Era wants um, the front logo and the side hit to be of the same era. Um, so now we got our logos done. We'll pop them into the template, but then we want to start looking at um, colors. So I use a site called teamcolorcodes.com. And this is basically a database um, for, for all the team colors. So like, let's say we wanted to do, as an example, Chicago Bears hook. It will tell you exactly what colors the Chicago Bears used. So this is the primary from 2005 till now. Dark navy orange, uh, 97 to 05, navy and orange, and then 1983 to 1996, navy and orange. That's kind of boring. So let's maybe, maybe we'll do an NHL hook. We'll take a stab at the NHL. I mean, you can even go NBA if you want to. You want to make a Chicago Bulls. You can use that kind of stuff. But you know, I'm feeling kind of funky. Let's use some NHL. I think my head is in the way. Yeah, there you go. NHL. Chicago Blackhawks. So the Blackhawks got a lot of different colors. That's cool. So for me, um, I'm lazy. I'm just going to screenshot the colors, but you can see exactly the color code breakdown right there. So let's, let's take the yellows, the tans, the blues, the greens, the reds, and have some fun with this. We don't need to take the black because black's black. All right. So now we have that stuff. Let's take that stuff into Photoshop. So one sec. So we got our template here. Hopefully you guys can see that. Now let's open all the different files we got. So we downloaded the PNG of the front and the side. Let's open those up. And then we're also gonna take the colors that we need. So, yeah, perfect. All right, so first things first, let's bring the Cubs front logo into the mock-up. Maybe we'll scale it down a teeny tiny bit. So it's just workable. All right, now we got the side patch. Let's bring, oops. Let's bring that into the file we need. Of course, it's not working. Hold on. Why aren't you working? Why aren't you working? You see that the GIF? What? Technical difficulties, I'm sorry, people, I'm sorry. Let's 
So let's go back here. Of course, we run into a snag. Hold on. Just a sec. Let us find what happened with that side patch. Why is that side patch giving us issue? Let's figure out what's going on here. You guys are probably laughing with me, but or laughing at me, but let's 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 try to figure it out on the spot. So we took the side patch. Why didn't you save properly? Save image as. Oh no, that's not gonna work. This is a GIF file. All right, I guess we're not using this one for now. No, that's a bad patch. Uh, 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 try 24. Is this one gonna behave? Yeah, there you go. The PNG of the Wrigley. So the Wrigley one will work. Uh, so we got that one. Let's go back into Photoshop. Sorry about that, guys. This patch gonna have to go. It's not behaving. We got the Wrigley patch now. Hopefully this won't work. I'm gonna get rid of the white around it. I'm gonna scale it down a little bit. All right. So one thing you gotta know um, about about kind of logos and how they're digitized. Um, once you change uh, a color of something, usually it's tied to another thing. I know it's annoying as hell, but easy example. So you see the front, um, the front logo here, it's blue. You wouldn't be able to change like half of it to green and the other half pink. You know, and once you change the blue, you change the blue. Same thing with the red circle around it. Once you change that, you change that. Um, that's pretty straightforward. I mean, you're looking at here, but like on a logo like this, sometimes the greens are tied together. So you got like a lighter green here. That's usually will be tied to this green, right? This red might may or may not be tied to the red inside the cups. We'll see. Um, um, we're just gonna submit this as a mock-up and see what happens. So uh, let's take a look at the colors we grabbed. So these are the colors from the official Chicago Blackhawks. So we're just gonna eye drop the red, the orange, the green, yellow, tan, and blue. So they're all up here for us to use later. And let's get to coloring. So let's do, let's, hold on, let's grab the Chicago Blackhawk logo too while we're at it. We may as well just grab that to kind of have that as something to work off of, right? So let's grab this Chicago Blackhawk. Yeah, let's do that. So let's go online and find the Chicago Blackhawk logos. Chicago Blackhawk logo. I'm just gonna use this as a point of reference. We're just gonna use that as a point of reference for um, this exercise. I'm gonna try to keep, um, I'm gonna try to keep switching, the switching of the programs to a minimum. So hopefully this will work good. All right, let's get back into Photoshop. Start cooking. There's your Blackhawk. All right. So he's tan. We'll make we'll make the bear tan. Make the, the nose red. Uh, 
let's do black on the inside. He's got yellow. And let's just say we're gonna use the green right there, right? So that's our front logo, the Wrigley Field side patch. So let's trade the green. Hmm. Let's trade the green for yellow. No, my tolerance is too high. Turn down the tolerance. This is where working off these things are annoying. But, you know, stay patient with you guys. So we're going to trade all the light green for yellow. Man, riveting stuff, right? This is musty TV. All right, so there's a little bit of green here, a little bit of green there, and some green here. All right, now, what other colors we use? Uh, they use that light green, so let's use that light green. Put it everywhere that there was dark green. I guess the red we can keep has the same red. Um, you know, add some black in here. There you go. Some black. Come on, black. Uh, the blue. Let's match the blue with the blue. Hmm. Maybe make this blue. Should we do tan? We gotta get tan somewhere in here, right? So let's get tan in here. So we tan everywhere there's white. I know this is riveting TV, guys. I should have picked the patch that had less colors. Um, very good. So now I guess we got to figure out what color to make the hat, right? So let's zoom out a bit. All right. So we got the logo, the front, the side. I think. Let's make this like a two tone. Maybe a red hat with a black. No, let's do it with, let's do it with a black hat. All right, let's do this a black hat. No, let's do this as a red hat with a green under. Come on. Now you're not gonna behave. Come on, template. Sorry, my tolerance is too high. We'll give it a, a green button. And we're gonna go with the green under. All right, so now we just gotta copy the front logo. T 
p.m. Get a side patch. Let's hide this for now. I forgot the red in here. So let's get that red. Let's make the eyelets a funky color. Maybe we'll do a tan eyelet. Most people want a tonal flag, so let's just tone out the flag. You can make it any color you want to, but for this example, we'll just tonal it out. All right. You got the you got this the front, the patch, um, and then we just need to add a MLB logo at the back, so the batterman. Um, most people like. A flat batterman. Um, you have to pick between raised, flat, old, and new. So the Cooperstown or the new one. So let's let's find a batterman. Sometimes they're hard to find. If you put MLB batterman, you won't you won't get it sometimes. So you see here, this is the rounded, a rounded edge current, straight edge current. Um, most people like the Cooperstown one. That one is sometimes harder to find. I forgot what I type in to get that. I'm all saved somewhere, but I'm trying to give you guys a way to kind of get this stuff on hand. So maybe a little Cooperstown logo. Here it is. This guy right here. If you ever wonder why sometimes um, Hat Heaven has it kind of shaded like that, that's the old school Cooperstown logo. We got what we need. Let's go back into the Photoshop. And just extract the logo we need. All right, so if you look at your hat, the first layer is usually tonal. So it's usually the same color. Um, when you do an off color, that's usually when you get those like funky batterman. So I'm gonna make that red because I want that to match the hat. And the, the outline, I'm gonna make it white. Let's beef up the white outline a little bit. And then I'm gonna pull the green and then the yellow. And I don't like the shadowing, so I'm just gonna color in white. Because I don't I don't really like the the Cooperstown guy to be too crazy. All right, that's the back. Take that, move it on the back, just scale it down a little bit. And make it to scale, right? That might be a little bit big, but you know, just for these examples, there you have it. How to mock a bat. You know, we did the Chicago um, Blackhawks X Cubs colorway. Um, I'd probably work on this a little bit harder to make it cool. Maybe try it on a black or um, maybe a two tone or whatever, but um, that's kind of how you do it. Um, 
you know, everyone wants to get into hat making nowadays and, you know, they got some crazy ideas. So, um, you know, play around with it. Um, there's some masters at the craft, you know, uh, Justin from Hat Club, T800, John Jay, uh, Brian from Hat Heaven. Um, there's really good people doing um, really good stuff. Um, this is just kind of an idea I threw together uh, offhand to kind of show you guys, you know, what to do. And, you know, anyone can do it as long as you have Photoshop and, and uh, different ideas. So, you know, let us know in the comments what you think um, and, uh, and uh, some of the crazy creations that you guys come up with. Um, until next time, stay fitted. We out, guys. Peace.